the first thing you'll want to do if you have a LX or a Land Cruiser with AHC is to lower the vehicle. What this will do is bring the, the engine bay down to a little bit more comfortable height. Okay, in order to get started here, what you need to do is remove the uh, your filter box and then the best thing to do is to get started on this this rear plug and coil. To do that, you're gonna have to take loose these heater hoses right here, right here. Then there is a bracket for this heater hose. This, you need to take this screw out, it's 12 millimeter. And then there's one behind it back there that bracket sits on can't get a good picture take those two 12 millimeter screws out they're pretty tight uh, be careful about not losing the screws dropping them get those out you take the heater hoses up out of your way however you can push them up and then you can get that bracket and uh, metal hose out of the way you can get to the the uh, coil, the 10 meter, millimeter bolt on the coil and the connector. Pull the coil out, get the plug out, and, and then start moving on to these other four. So we've got everything buttoned back up. Sorry, my, my phone got too hot in the sunlight on that driver's side bank with the plugs, but <clears throat> I got the two bolts in um, on that heater hose bracket. What I ended up doing was taking some blue masking tape, taping the bolt head to this socket, this flex socket, and then threading it through all this wiring harness and finally getting the bolt threaded back in uh, it's a pretty frustrating job. I ended up putting this bolt in first. And I got the bracket set. Um, even took an alignment tool to line up the bracket on that back bolt. And uh, with the blue tape on the bolt heads holding it into the socket, it was much easier to get that done. So I just got to put the air box back in. I'm done. I've already been running the the vehicle some, done an oil change, so I hope this helps. Uh, it's not that bad of a project. You just need several U-joints or flex sockets. That magnetic spark plug socket uh, is very valuable. So let me know if you got any questions.